Hi, this is Billy Joe with Moon Goddess 114433. This pick a card reading is what is his secret? You know, this is just to look at what what kind of secret is your person holding from you? What are they not saying to you? Now, this is titled what is his secret, but it can be for her as well. <laughs> just take it how it resonates for your situation. Um, also remember these are general readings, so if it don't fit, let it fly. Just let it go. Just don't, just don't hold on to that. Don't try to force it to fit, okay? So, we have three piles for you to choose from. Pile one is with the fluorite. Pile two is with the selenite. And pile three is, I'm not really sure what this is called. Someone told me that it is dragon's fire <laughs> it's very pretty though do you remember that if you need a personal reading if you want something these are general readings so if you need something that's actually going to resonate with your energy that's just your energy then i would suggest getting a personal reading you don't have to get it from me i would love for you to get it from me but Make sure you get it from a, a tarot reader, someone who's clairvoyant, someone that can read energies, someone that, you know, that you trust, okay? Also, don't forget that I have the drawing that I'm going to do on October 35th, first. <laughs> Almost said 35th, like that date doesn't exist. But anyways, on October 31st, I'm going to draw three names. And those three people will get a free in-depth reading. And the final announcement is about the donations that I take for um, literacy for inmates. That information will be on the bottom of the description box. You can click on that PayPal link to make a donation if you'd like. I do appreciate everyone who does donate to my channel, to my cause. I appreciate all my subscribers and all my new subscribers and everyone that's given all those amazing comments and feedback. I absolutely love you. Um, so without any further ado, I'm going to get these moved out of the way. Oh, wait, 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 before I get started, sorry. I'm going to show you what decks I'm using. I always forget. I'm using this new one that I just got, the Housewives Tarot. Super, super cute. The Rebel deck. I love these. These are super cocky. And Madame Endura's Fortune Cards. So, I will try to remember. I tr I've been trying to add the Amazon links in the description box for... Um, my cards that I use just in case anyone's interested in getting them now now I'm gonna try and get started <laughs> okay for those of you that chose pile one with the fluorite look at that that is so pretty dark purple fluorite So let's see what your person's secret is. So we have the Ace of Wands, the Moon, King, oh, sorry, not King, Knight of Pentacles, the Magician. Uh, stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person, just fucking stop. You are giving away your power. Oh, wow. Water, it says emotions are at their peak. And the stars, a long journey brings rewards. Okay, so right off the bat, this person that, for y'all that picked this pile, y'all's people, if this resonates, 
just seems a little shady like they got some stuff they hiding in the back pocket <laughs> um so with the ace of wands you know aces are always usually represent new beginnings but for the wands it's a fire sign so that's new beginnings and actions and that's like an actual adventure you know taking a journey going on an adventure it also can represent someone need to clean up their act you know they need to clean out their closets they may got some stuff hidden because you have the moon here and the moon lots of times represents things that are illusions things that um <laughs> again in their closet and the thing about the moon card um, pretty much it's like it tells you to listen for this deck tells you to listen to your intuition and your instincts and um, to get you through times of change and uncertainty so one of the things they may not be telling you is that they have some uncertainty right now they're they're facing some challenges right now um, and that might be why they have to clean out their closet you have the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles, this is someone who's a really super busy guy. He's like mowing the yard. He's keeping the pentacles clean. He's doing everything, trying to bring in money. You know, this person has a lot on their plate. And um, this is someone also who you see, he's mowing the yard in a tux. He has expensive tastes. But it's because of his expensive tastes that he has to work overtime. He has to put in all this work, right? So what I'm really sensing is, well, let me finish this. The magician. Look at that magician. He looks like a really shady salesman, don't he? He looks like a... Okay, please forgive me. I'm not trying to be... <laughs> uh, what's that word? I can't think of it right now, but, you know, I'm just going to say it. Uh, he looks like a shady car salesman. <laughs> this is someone who's charmingly deceptive. You know, this is like the illusion, the sales pitches that are only half truths. You know, this is a warning of not to be fooled by smooth talkers, charmers. And what I get from all of this is what they may not be telling you is, you know, they may like to take you. For some of you, they may like to take you on expensive dates, or they like to do expensive things. They may have that really nice sports car. They live in the really nice house. But what they're not telling you is, that's all an illusion, baby. Because what you're not thinking about is, they have all that stuff, but they also got to pay for it, and they go going in debt. So... <laughs> This is what I'm sensing for this one. They have to work their ass off for what they have. Um, you have stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person, just fucking stop. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. And then you are giving away your power. You are a badass. Act like it. So, and then with these two cards, with the emotions are at their peak and a long journey brings rewards. What I'm actually getting from this is basically, again, this person is someone who works their ass off. They may have two or even three jobs to pay for that sports car or that house or that that I'm getting a bachelorhood type of lifestyle here and uh, maybe a woman for a bachelorette type of style she likes to get her nails done <laughs> she likes to get her go to the salon get her hair done every week she likes to go to Ulta to buy that expensive makeup the Mac brand you know she likes to buy nice clothes and go to the mall you know it depends on whether you're watching for a man or a woman but you get the you get the gif of the story, right? This is someone who in here here you are probably um you may message them or call them, you know, and it's pretty much saying it's not it's not I was gonna say it's not you <laughs> and it's not and it really isn't. It's it's them. It's that it's not that they're trying to push you off 
or reject you or um, ignore you. And sometimes they probably are ignoring you. They're like, look at the phone, like, oh, I'm busy working. I really don't have time. Those emotions are getting at their peak. You know, they're, they're right there. A long journey brings rewards. They're right there getting that big commission check. They got to keep on pushing through, right? And here you are texting like, oh, oh, I don't have time for this. I got work to do. Don't they know I'm at work? That's the kind of energy that I'm getting is that they're kind of getting frustrated because they don't really have time to think about you till they get that big break. Okay. I hope that resonates. If it did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Moving on to those that picked option two with this beautiful, lovely little selenite stick. I love selenite. I love it, love it, love it. So what is, what's your person's secret? What are they not saying? So we have the Knight of Wands. The Six of Swords. The Five of Swords. The Eight of Wands. Oh, I love that. Look, she's riding on a broomstick. <laughs> Get some fucking sleep. Don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. <laughs> The serpent says a sly and subtle approach is needed. And the raven, darkness looms on the horizon. I love ravens. I see ravens all the time, like when I go to work. I actually have one. Oh my gosh. I actually had one land on my shoulder as I was trying to walk into the building at my job. No joke. It was so crazy. Um... And that was like last week or the week before. And then, and then this morning, there was another raven just kind of flying over my head. I'm like, what? It might have been the same one. I'm like, what? <laughs> but I love ravens. That's like my spirit animal. Anyway, so that's why it was super freaking me out. So anyway, <laughs> let me get to your reading. You have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, this is someone, he is like the leader of the group, right? That go-getter, that one that likes to be the center of attention. That's for all those, you know, like me who has Leo in your Venus. <laughs> um, always, oh, always into mischief. Like, I get a vibe of the Stand By Me movie with those boys, you know, on their little adventure. Um, and, you know, this is someone that just always have fun. They're loyal to their friends. Um, they're really good at spy inspiring others in innovative, creative, fun ideas. You have the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords, that is someone, you know, look, this card just reminds me of she's leaving that abusive husband or abusive wife or husband. That's supposed to be a bag, but in my mind, I'm seeing a frying pan that she's going to hit him with the frying pan. <laughs> so she's getting out of a tough situation. That's what the Six of Swords is all about. Moving out of darkness and into the light. Releasing pent up anxiety and aggression. Because she's going to hit him with the frying pan. <laughs> and making making room for happier times. She says, adios. Bye stress. Bye messed up situation. <laughs> And then you have the Five of Swords. So it's funny, the Six of Swords and then the Five of Swords. Because the Five of Swords is like accepting your limitations. You know, this is someone who's a perfectionist. You know, they do everything themselves. Um, they, they try to do it all because it's like that saying, I'm getting it, I'm hearing in my head that um, if you want something done right, you've got to do it yourself. And this is actually someone trying, needing to focus on realistic goals. <laughs> you have the Eight of Wands. 
So, of course, usually the Eight of Wands represents like a bunch of messages coming through, like on a regular tarot card. It's like them all them arrows being shot, right? And the Eight of Wands has to do with, you know, busy times, um, traveling, growth, expansion. Um, they may be taking a flight soon. Um, they may take flights. They may have to fly. Like for some of you, they may actually have business trips. They have to fly to different parts of the country. Um, or even maybe to other countries. Um, it's also having to do with, um, fast paced communication, fast paced data, maybe internet in information. Um, but it's flying really fast. And this talks about taking charge of situations and ex just expecting others to follow, you know, and that's the whole thing. This is the leader of the pack, you know, he's, but yet he's kind of stressed out because he wants to make sure everything is done right. You know, uh, he's the type that's just going to walk and say, oh, oh, I got it. I got it. Go on. Just get out of my way. I got it. Um... <laughs> But they really, and then when after they say that, they're like, oh, I got to do this, and I got to do that, and I got to do that, and I got to do this. How am I going to get that done? I got, oh, I got three hours to get it done in. How am I going to get this all done? So he's getting a little stressed out. You have, get some fucking sleep. You are being an ass because you are fucking tired. Face to pillow now. And then, don't talk to anyone, don't look at anyone, you need some fucking time alone, and you know why. So again, this person is wearing themselves down. They are burning the candle at both ends, and eventually, the flame is going to go out. You have the serpent, a sly and subtle approach is needed. So, and then the raven, darkness looms in the horizon. I... I really believe the Raven, you know, is to me, I'm hearing Edgar Allan Poe's um, poem and it's like every time the guy starts to, the, the guy you're watching for starts to get some rest, the Raven comes and knocking and the sly and subtle approach is like, I'm just getting more of a sense of, um, more about the serpent, not about the words. And like, it's like a never ending, right, tell. I mean, it's just like never ending, right? I mean, of course it ends here, but I'm getting a sense of a never ending because I'm seeing the infinity sign in this. And it's like, he's not getting any sleep. So the only secret that your person has is they're effing tired. They're exhausted. So I hope that resonated. If it did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Your person has a lot of stress. And they probably need some, um, some time alone. Some de decompression. Is that what it's called? Decompression? Okay. Moving on to those of you that picked pile three with this beautiful stone here. Let's see what your person has a secret. So you have the Four of Pentacles. The Lovers. Page of Cups. Judgment. You are being shady. You need a good fucking cry. The dagger. It says conflict and danger. Lie and wait. And the dragon. Strength and wisdom. Okay. Let's look at this. So the four of pentacles. The four of pentacles. That is like the hoarding card. It's like they holding on to all their coins and they're not going to share. But what I'm. But more importantly, is the fear of risk. This is a fear card. Like you see how she's holding, 
like she's got the good china in the china cabinet and she's holding it shut she's guarding it she's like uh-uh no 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 y'all gonna eat on the ugly ugly plates y'all ain't eating on this good china because y'all uh-uh what if you chip it what if you fall and it breaks then what happens what if what if what if it's like she's terrified something's gonna happen to her full set of china but, I mean, what's the point in having that beautiful china if you're not going to eat off of it? But she, you know, <clears throat> this is a fear of taking risk. Then you have the lover's card. I love, love this card. So this is about romance, infatuation, and sex. You know? <laughs> you know, this is pretty much letting you know that um, when it comes to matters of the heart... Um, those can sometimes get sticky and complicated. You know, it comes with relationships, comes with responsibilities, and, you know, sometimes replications, you know. <laughs> the Page of Cups. So, this is about nurturing. See, those sunflowers have, you know, grandma's image, dad, I guess it's brother, I don't know. But this is like... Where you're nurturing and you're watering and you're feeding those relationships. You know, to help them bloom with that love. Right? Um, give them that extra TLC. You know, and it's something that has to continually be done. So that way it can grow and it doesn't die. You know, this is not waiting for fear of rejection. Because if you wait for fear of rejection... And if you focus on that, it may stunt the growth and the blossoming of these sunflowers, this relationship. Then we have judgment. So, judgment has to do with, like, weighing the facts, you know, and having to shed. This talks about shedding negative thoughts. You know, this is, you know, true happiness is more about eliminating those doubts and that low self-esteem and that negative self-talk that stuff like for example i'm getting a real sense of like someone who's like back and forth in their head um should i tell them i love them no i better not what if they reject me or should i move the relationship to the next level uh what if it's not the right time you know, it's that fear of taking that next step. And that fear of just, you know, they're just full of fear. What if they take that next step and it cracks what they have? You know, it's like that saying, if it's not broken, it don't need to be fixed. Well, they're not willing to use the china to take a chance to see if it's even going to break. Because they're afraid it's going to break. They're trying to be, like, super precautious before it even happens. To the point of not taking a step forward. You know, so when it says you are being shady, watch out. Shit could get ugly. You need a good fucking cry. Get the ugly cry on. Let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. I'm getting more of a sense of those. Those are representing his fears about moving forward in the relationship. You know, maybe actually saying the big L word for love, not loser. Love. And so L O. How do you do V? I don't remember, but here's E. I don't remember the V <laughs> in sign language. But, anyways, so I can do my name B I L L I E J O. <laughs> um, so. Basically, that has to do with, again, the fear of um, those fears and negative thoughts and getting emotional about it. With the dagger, it says conflict and danger lie in wait. The conflict is in their own head. But I'm getting more of a sense with the dagger. I'm seeing the Ace of Swords here. And the Ace of Swords is the beginning of clarity, communication. And then you have the dragon, strength and wisdom. So they're trying to gain their strength. What they're not telling you, their secret is they're trying to gain strength to be able to actually say, I love you. 
and for, that is not for all of you that's for some of you and for others of you they're just trying to get the strength of of learning your love language and trying to express to you through your own love language because your love language and his love language may not be the same like my love language like um I, i'm not really much on the gifts like there's five is there five love language physical touch gifts attention is it attention i know it's quality time the other two um oh service and there's one more oh words of affirmation me i like quality time i like physical touch and i like lots of attention and i want to hear it i want to hear that you love me i want to hear you know all those lovey-dovey words that i give to someone else is because that's my love language you most express love through your own love language. So also remember that. Pay attention to how your person, you know, it's kind of hard for them to just come out and say how they feel in this relationship. They're struggling because it's not, you know, it's not their love language. You know, they're trying to learn how to express love to you through your love language. But start paying attention to how they express Maybe, um, maybe they do the dishes for you, or maybe they do some gardening for you, or take out the trash, um, or they grill, and maybe their, their love language is acts of service, and so that's how you know that your person loves you, and they're trying to break that cycle and actually express love through your love language because I believe in this this one they're starting to realize that y'all's love languages uh y'all speak different love languages <laughs> and they may be like here you are crying because um you just don't love me you never say it da, 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 da. and they're like what I just took the trash out last night <laughs> You know, it's just a different form of expression. Or, didn't didn't I just kiss on you? Or <laughs> They're like really confused about it. But they're trying to break free. They're trying to learn how to nurture that love and that relationship. They, The secret they're not telling you is they're really fucking trying. Okay? So I hope that resonated. If it did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget... Do not forget to send me an email. Make sure you subscribe and send me an email. To let me know you want to join the, the giveaway that I'm doing on October 31st. Good night.